For more than 30 years, sister Celeste O'Brien has run a soup kitchen in South Buffalo. After helping thousands of Buffalo's poor and hungry, the well-known nun is now going to retire. But her legacy sure will carry on. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has a story that is all new at 6. First of all, we had no idea it would last this long. But over three decades later, the South Buffalo community table is still in operation and providing thousands of evening meals every month for the poor. And during all that time, it's been led by Sister Celeste O'Brien. I used to say, it's your work, God, and if you want it done, you better be there because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. And he always came through. Joining the Sisters of Mercy at age 17, Sister Celeste first taught in South Buffalo schools. But in the early 1980s, she and others decided to open a soup kitchen in South Buffalo with volunteers and donations. Sister taught us that there's different types of um, hunger and loneliness is one of them. Working at the community table helped her feel young, especially because she had to help do everything, including putting down a kitchen floor. And I'm always proud of it. I always say, I did that floor and the tiles are still down. <laughs> volunteers say her generosity is what inspires them, including the time she gave up her own winter clothing to a needy woman who came in during a storm. And literally it was like she gave her the shirt off her back. And this is what she did with everything and everyone. But now, 83 years old, Sister Celeste says it is time to retire. I guess I'm tired. Sister Kristen Schmitz is taking over, and she knows there are big shoes to fill. Yes, you, you feel it a little bit because people will come to you and say, is Sister Celeste here? And then they look very disappointed, and I say, well, if I can help you. This Saturday, Sister Celeste will be honored for her years of service during the annual fundraiser for the community table set to be held in West Seneca. And, and you can serve we, this with butter. Right, yeah. yes. Some have nicknamed Sister Celeste the Mother Teresa of South Buffalo. I'd like to be remembered as a gentle person and a caring person. And for volunteers, the challenge now is to carry on her legacy. I get choked up talking about her because we will miss her. But she's been great. Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Great story. Congratulations and, of course, good luck. Mm -hmm. Seven